Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new episode in this vlog journey that I'm doing. If you watched the previous vlog, then thank you so much. Um, it was, well, it's kind of good to do these vlogs again and to make my way through uh, Westeros and Game of Thrones and Song of Ice and Fire or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, uh, I have only got a um, little bit of day or the morning to myself before I've got to go to work. My boss unexpectedly called me in, so yeah, I thought I would um, talk about what I read yeah, um, yesterday, because uh, I'm going to be reading this book on the way to work. So what happens so far, and this is what I didn't manage to read the first time that I read this. So they, this is all brand new to me. So we are um, reading about Tyrone against very political. A lot of it goes over my head with what he what his sections are about. But um, we do find out, or he finds out rather, that there is this um, kind of guard um, character that um, was um, appointed by his father to watch over Cersei. And because this guard looks kind of like Jamie Lannister, she has a secret love sexual affair with this guard. Uh, Ty Tyron finds out and says, well, look, yeah, you are in my pocket now. You'll do whatever I want. You'll find out what my sister is planning. And basically he will tell her, everything about Cersei, about what she's saying, what she's doing, what she's thinking. So he's kind of one step ahead of his sister. And then we are with um Ar with um Arya, which is in this town. Um seems good. Um she's she's got a well everyone's got a job and something to do. They're all getting fed, all basic stuff anyway. And um yeah, there's still that kind of urge and need to go to Winterfell and back to Winterfell, but there doesn't seem to be mad, any, well, that mad rush to do so. Um, I think that Arya will do well in this location if she keeps her head down and behaves, and um, I think that she could excel in this location. So I don't have much to say in this clip for Clash of Kings today um, as there's not a lot of stuff that I feel is necessary to report. Uh, but I have been reading uh, Cat Catelyn Stark um, section or Lady Stark, uh, or Lady Stark section. Um, I've said it before, She's not my favourite character. I find her sections to be a drag, very political, very dull, very boring, very slow. And I was thinking, well, what is Lady Stark in this story? Well, she is a mother figure um, to a wide variety of children, a big range of children at Winterfell. And that's ultimately what Catelyn is. She is a mother figure. And when she um, is seeing Renly um, and Stannis together, they're both arguing very pettily about who is king, who should, who should be the rightful king, who deserves to be king, who has the bigger army, who is more likely to become king at the end, despite the fact who is supposed to technically become king or is next in line to the to the um iron throne and Catelyn said something in there she was like you know if you were my two boys i would bang your heads together and lock you in and they lock you both in the room and remind you that you are both brothers and hit she hit me then um that Catelyn is a mother figure and she is um, not really a warrior, but she's the kind of go-between. She's the middle person in arguments and conflict. She is the voice of reason. Um, that doesn't really make her the most compelling and interesting character, but if I think about it that way, then it gives me something just to anchor to and just to 
focus on whenever I read her sections. Also, very quickly, guys, I just want to say that when I had like a long gap between um, parts three and part four of this whole vlog for Clash of Kings, um, I didn't know how it was going to be received when I came back. Um, it's only got a um, small handful of views um, so far. Um, I'm not expecting these vlogs to be super popular. It's just my own way of documenting my journey through Song of Ice and Fire. And um, if anyone wants to join me, um, then they're more than welcome. But if you have watched my um, part four and also this video, then thank you so much. So I thought I would record another clip. It's a nice day, so I'm planning to have lunch out, maybe in the park. And I thought I would just record my thoughts about my section that I read um, yeah, um, yesterday. A good section, it really was. Um, we read more about Sansa. And of course we spent some time in the lovely company of King Joffrey. Who is the biggest a-hole in any book. Um... He has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. He has no good points or any, oh, we just misunderstood. No, he's just a, a horrible person. He uses Sansa as a plaything and a way of him um, using her as a way of him getting all of his sadistic thoughts and fantasies out. And he's been humiliating her in front of the whole uh court and holding her accountable for what Rob is doing. Tyrion has stepped in to protect her. Tyrion is um, much better than um, people give him credit for. Yes, he is a Lannister, but deep down he is a good person. And uh, we've also spent time with Kat with um, Kathleen um, when she's with... Um, Renly and Stannis. I uh, I was trying to think about a way of making this as spoiler free as I can. I mean, I'm reading all the Song of Ice and Fire books, and at one point, there's going to be a something's going to happen that I'm going to have to say that this is what's happened, guys. Um, but when that happens, I will um, announce a spoiler coming. But when that happens, I will announce that I will be. Um, giving a spoiler away but something has happened to Renly he's been attacked by this strange shadow creature and he has been attacked and I will say he's out of the running permanently for the Iron Throne now and all fingers are pointing to Stannis um, for the person that was, was that was responsible for attacking Renly not sure how I uh thought about that character uh, being attacked uh, I mean when he was a flamboyant character that strived on being liked and respected and in a way feared um, but you know um, um, that's where we are at with the book right now or where I am with the book right now so I think I'm going to go out now and um, read some more of this book. Um, I will try to uh, film in different locations so it um, looks a bit different in all these vlogs rather than me filming in the same place. Hi guys, I thought I would um, come outside in my um, garden and film this video or this clip to make it seem a bit more interesting in a different location. Uh, so we've read um, Jon Snow's section where he's beyond the wall still hunting and trying to find his uncle. Nothing really much has happened in his section. He's just sitting around um, with uh, the uh, other members of the Night's Watch just talking and eating. Uh, they found the um, location where the first men um, built and there's a bit of background in the mythology of the first men and the children of the forest I think that's what they're um, what they're called and um, 
Also, another fun fact as well in this book that um, I read The Ice Dragon by George, which didn't mention Westeros. It just gently nudged at the fact that oh, this world might be connected to this. And the Ice Dragon was mentioned as as a um, creature that was beyond the wall. So I thought that was a kind of a nice cool thing that kind of said right that book is connected to Westeros. I also came across a um, section which I thought came across as well well at first it came across as a um, racist slur but uh, this was in reference to Arya's section of the book where she's still in this city um, still trying to survive but one of the characters was talking about uh, the um, man that was taking them to the wall to be members of the Night's Watch and he was called a black and what and you know what John is referred to as um, I don't want to say them two words put together but when I was thinking about it I was thinking well he's He's actually saying that he is black because he is a member of the Night's Watch and he wears black. And when people go to the wall, they are referred to as um, wearing black and black brothers. And him being called a bastard um, is just a, um, a curse thing. So when I thought about it at first, I thought, okay, that's a racist thing but when I thought about it a bit longer it wasn't. We are um, reading about um, Tyron where he's been talking with Cersei and the council about what's recently happened with Renly and Stannis and what they're gonna do about it. Uh, Renly and Stannis are just two kids right now just uh, fighting with each other rather than sitting down and thinking about the bigger picture and who's the real and um, and who's the real enemy, and I think that if they if they wanted to, they could easily dispose of Stannis as well. And we are following Faeon Greyjoy at the Iron Islands. Um, not much there. Um, still a very harsh and cool place and um, I think Rob has been mentioned, Rob Stark and uh, we haven't been with Rob that much and um, I think that there's a uh, kind of a plot to dispose of him and um, yeah I think Rob has been lucky or is perceived to be lucky so that is where I am with the book right now just over 500 pages um, if you have watched this whole vlog, I which what I just want to thank you. I know this whole vlog series isn't going to be popular. That's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I want to document my journey and my experiences and my thoughts while reading Song of Ice and Fire. But if you have watched this video, thank you so much. And um, yeah, uh, as soon as I get to page 600, then I will be doing another vlog. But because I read this book every day, that will probably be really soon. And uh, also, if there's anything else that you want me to like cover in these vlog videos, like if you want me to, uh, you know, I don't know, film in different locations, or I don't know, I talk about other stuff that's happening in my life, um, or or anything else, or if you want me to like talk about or mention anything else in the Song of Ice and Fire, um, then please let me know. Or if you want me to like maybe compare um, characters that were featured in the book to uh, characters in the TV sh uh, series and talk about them, their differences or their similarities, then comment down below. I'm just trying to make this um, vlog as interesting as I possibly can. So yeah, thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video.